next pulsation dampener that we're going to work with is the automatic unit. The automatic is exactly that. Plug and play, ready to go. This one has a uh, bladder material inside it and it has a one-way check valve on the top of the unit. You'll notice that the gauge assembly also has a pressure relief valve on the side of it. The automatic unit is best used for applications where you have varying discharge pressures. So where you can't make these adjustments every time that the uh, pump is starting to increase the pressure from a filter press or dirty media where the uh, pressure is going to increase during the process, this will allow you to operate and still be able to add pressure automatically and that's why we call it our automatic unit. This unit um, has to also have a, a constant air source. It uh, allows you to continually add pressure if it's required. Just keep in mind that as the air pressure has increased or been applied to this unit, you'll notice that there's no pressure on the gauge. The meaning of this, the, the reason that this is happening is because there's nothing on the bottom side of this to um, push the bladder up inside the unit to hit the automatic button that's located on the top of this unit. So nothing's going to happen until your system pressure starts to increase. As that happens, the bladder will rise, the air will compress inside this chamber here, and then you will notice that the pressure dial, uh, the gauge pressure will increase because the system pressure is going to uh, increase. Um, keep in mind though that no air is entered into this, no compressed air is entered into this chamber until the bladder hits the button and which that means that the, the entire volume of this unit has compressed to the point where the bladder is inverted and is up inside this unit and bumps up against the button with, for just enough pressure to escape through this line into the chamber to push the bladder away. Then, when the system pressure stops, you stop your pump, the bladder will then relax into the system to the bottom of the unit and increase the volume, and by increasing the volume, you decrease the pressure. After that pressure, after that system is done, you may have 10 to 15 pounds of pressure at the most, even at the pressures of 100 to 120 PSI that your pump may work. If that's the case, you can then press the the relief button to allow any type of pressure out of that. If you notice when your system is run that the dial is up over 15 to 20 PSI and the pump system is not running or this, uh, the, the gauge uh, will indicate that the, you have the same pressure that the um, airline is supplying, you need to check to see if there is a, um, a breach in the automatic button. And uh, to do that, you can press this. You may have to take the unit apart. That's uh, an option. But uh, generally, these units are, um, we've got a lot of them that are in, in use and have been for many, many years without any type of issues. Um, as long as you have a constant air source to it and the equipment is proper, then you will have an operating machine. Just keep in mind that the pulsation dampener in these applications with the automatic are not going to be as um, they're not going to give you as best dampening as you can get from the adjustable but it is also going to adjust automatically to where the pump discharge um, needs to be placed so automatic plug and play airline and just make sure that the, the gauge is um, showing that your system pressure um, Please also be aware that the discharge pressure on your pump, on your discharge line, has to be greater than 15 to 20 psi for this to even operate because you've got to push the bladder up inside that unit. So you need to have at least 15 to 20 psi for this, this unit to start working. <music>